So my name is Philip Tor, and I'm going to talk today about computer vision. Um, how did I get into this, and what is computer vision, I hear you asking. Well, when I was uh, a child, I was very into science fiction, so I liked Asimov, uh, Star Trek, all of these things. And I'm very interested in robots, and so I thought that when I did my PhD, I really wanted to do artificial intelligence and actually try and learn how to build robots and design them. So I applied to Oxford University uh, Robotics Group, and when I uh, applied, they said, well, you have to specialise in something, and we have a space free in this thing called computer vision. So I said, well, what's computer vision? And they said, uh, it's the, uh, the science of making machines see. So I did my PhD, and it's funny because actually the uh, research led into many other interesting things other than uh, robots. Uh, there are many, many applications of computer vision which I didn't even foresee when I first started off. So um, one of them is uh, medical imaging, you know, finding tumours and this sort of thing. Another that uh, I was actively involved in was um, computer graphic special effects for films in working out the three-dimensional structure and layout of films so that you can insert um, computer-generated characters that you see, for instance, in Lord of the Rings and these sorts of uh, uh, other types of so films. So I used to work for Microsoft and my old team there have done a great job and uh, produced the software for uh, Kinect, which does human body tracking and has revolutionised the gaming industry in that it allows um, the uh, understanding of human pose for gaming, this sort of things. Um, currently, actually, I work with Sony also on the, this sort of technology as well. And I think it's actually hard to predict what new applications of computer vision will be in the future as cameras get smaller and the, uh, the um, hardware gets more uh, powerful. I think actually the future offers many exciting possibilities from wearable types of computing to computing uh, and uh, cameras that are so miniaturized that uh, we might be able to do all sorts of incredible things.